Welcome once again to the DMIN 897 Scholars here at Regent University School of Divinity. This is your instructor coming to you as we see the end of the summer semester looming up in front of us. I want to be sure to keep up with you on a regular basis and do everything I can to help you cross the finish line. Welcome to Module 7. You know, here at the end, we have a few one-week modules. Of course, the primary focus is on the proposal at this point in time, but we have another very important uh, discussion forum also in Week 13. So I want to be sure to let you know where we are and how this coming week is designed to work. Uh, of course, the path to the finish line, week eight, we were working together on your BTH foundations, uh, making sure that you had a final copy ready to just put into your template. We had a great discussion forum in week nine on project design. That was all about the various tools, the instruments you were hoping to use uh, to be able to use when you came to a point of collecting data, useful data. And I think it's important to remember that. I so much enjoy participating in that discussion. Remember, you only need two or three. I usually recommend three at the most four data sets. By data sets, that means that you have three or at the most four ways that you are going to collect data. Uh, so in some cases, and I, you know, I appreciate the the uh, attention to detail, but there might even be a recommendation for five or six different ways to collect data, which is really more than you need to have a really great uh, uh, project. And so we had a good discussion in week nine. Week 10 was all about the very important student profile. It's an opportunity for you to reflect personally on your experience in the Doctor of Ministry program. You will remember it just involved downloading a template and responding to those questions. A week 11, we were focusing then on another discussion forum on research methodology. Research methodology, you know, is all about qualitative, quantitative, and mixed methods, thinking about the best way to not just collect data, but to collect it in a way to be able to analyze it. Are you going to analyze it using a qualitative method, or are you going to analyze your data using a quantitative method? It's just an opportunity to think about it. Remember, you're not, you're not putting your uh, a stamp on any of these ideas that we're discussing together. As you well know, it's the HSR application process with Dr. Flynn that will determine the specifics of your project. But this is just a way for us to think together about it. And then, of course, week 12 draft proposals. I have enjoyed working on draft proposals. And believe it or not, I already have a couple of final uh, proposals that I am working together with you on, and they're looking very, very good. I think it's a my recommendation to you is as you're working on your proposal to go back. If you missed an opportunity to participate in a discussion forum, go back and do that. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of your time, but it's a great opportunity for you, and we'll just contribute to the successful completion of the 897 experience. In terms of week 13 assignments, of course, continue to work on your draft proposal. As always, you will submit a draft proposal in, in Canvas. Uh, I will download it. What I do is, I as I download it, I send you a, a message saying that I am marking that assignment as complete and will provide detailed feedback in an email message. And then we'll go forward from there. Also, this very important discussion forum in week 13 on the HSR process. And so this is, of course, something you've uh, thought about before, but it will prove to be extremely important as you go into 899. One of the very first things you will do is uh, fill out, begin to fill out the HSR application and Dr. Flynn is very excellent when it comes to uh, coaching, helping our doctoral students to get all of those details that are needed in place. Uh, it's you're, you're really not in a position. You're not allowed to begin doing your project research 
until the application has been approved. And so this discussion is very, very important. There are a large number of resources available to you in Canvas as it pertains to the HSR process. So this is your opportunity to review that before you cross the finish line in 897. The resources, of course, are very simple at this point in time in week 13. Uh, as you recall, in the modules section, there is a whole group of, of proposal resources that are relevant to you. There's also a group of HSR resources, uh, including the uh, a video. I think probably Dr. Flynn is going to want to update that video eventually. It's uh, Dr. Story still in the video, but the process is the same. All the necessary documents, the links to the Regent University, HSR resources page, which for me is the best place to start, quite frankly, because it has everything that you will need to begin to move forward. I don't think it hurts here at the 897 to take a look at that, to download a copy of the application form so you can see what it is you're getting ready to do. Uh, and uh, we will work together uh, for those of you, and that's almost all of you, quite frankly, who will be going forward into 899. We will be working together here at the 890, at the end of 897 to make sure that that's clear for you. Uh, with that in mind, I have put on my calendar an unscheduled Zoom consultation. It's not referenced anywhere in Canvas. Your your Canvas Zoom link will not work. I will provide you with a, a link to my uh, a personal invitation using my own personal uh, Zoom account. I put it on the schedule to make sure it's helpful for you on August the 1st, which is this coming Tuesday, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. I will take that opportunity for those of you who are interested to describe the completion of the 897 experience. I know there are always questions about enrollment. What's next? What do I need to do next? Uh, when when I have given you my final proposal, you pro uh, have approved it, et cetera, then what happens? And those, you know, you, 899 is the reason why you're in the Doctor of Industry program. So I think it's good to be able to um, communicate as clearly as possible for you. Also, the process of transitioning from 897 to 899, what you, can you expect in that, in that pr transition process? Uh, what can you expect when it comes to communication uh, with uh, Dr. Flynn, then with your appointed chair, et cetera? And how is that going to look for you? We'll have an opportunity to discuss that. I want to be able to unpack the HSR process uh, as clearly as I can for you, so you know how that's going to go forward. I'm going to also uh, just give you uh, some slides on available research software tools that I think will be helpful for you when it comes to your project and your dissertation. And so just, just some ideas here at the end. Again, I'm going to send a personal invitation link to you so that you can use it if you uh, want to. Uh, and uh, join me at that time for our final, you know, uh, unscheduled, but hopefully helpful for you, uh, a Zoom a meeting. So, you know, the whole idea of a HSR process, human subjects a, a review, and uh, the whole process of uh, finalizing your project proposal is so very, very important. It's true, no matter what doctoral program you're in, no matter what research project you are considering, absolutely essential. These two things are going to be uh, bottom line issues for you. So it's my privilege to be able to work together with you. Uh, what a joy it is for me to be able to see you complete the 897 experience and move on to having a great 899 experience with, uh, first of all, taking care of your HSR application, uh, beginning to communicate with your chair, starting to work on your dissertation. It's my joy to see you move ahead with that. I would want you to do so with a sense of confidence, 
uh, everything that you will have done up until that point will have prepared you to do a very excellent job. So that's where we are in our summer experience. As always, I am here to work together with you, partner with you every step along the way. It is my honor to do so. So God bless you, everybody. Just have a wonderful week.